Assalamu alaikum dear students I welcome you all in this offline class my today's lesson is for class 10th English and uh, uh, our today's topic is the ghat of the only world written by Amitav Ghosh so uh, this uh, uh, the writer had a friend named Aga Shahid Ali. The writer Amitav Ghosh had a friend named Aga Shahid. Both of them lived in America. Shahid was suffering from cancer. He knew that he was not going to live long. He asked the writer to write something about him after his death. The writer kept his promise. In this chapter, he writes about Shahid as he knew him. So, this writer is ये शाहिद आगा शाहिद अली का दोस्त था आगा शाहिद अली वाज फ्रॉम कश्मीर तो ये दोनों अमेरिका में सेटल हो गए थे रह, रह रहे थे तो ये दोनों आपस में दोस्त थे तो आगा शाहिद जैसा कि मैंने बताया वाज सफरिंग फ्रॉम उसको कैंसर की मोहलिक बीमारी लाहक हुई थी तो उसको पता था कि एनी टाइम ही इज गोइंग टू डाई यानी कैंसर एक ऐसी बीमारी है कि उसे फिर इंसान बचता नहीं तो ही नहीं कि मुझे अब मरना है तो उसने अपने दोस्त से कहा कि मेरे मरने के बाद तुम मेरे हमारी दोस्ती के बारे में मेरे बारे में लिखना तो इसके दोस्त ने उसका वो जो है प्रॉमिस वो रखा ही कैप्ट हिज प्रॉमिस और उसने फिर उसके बाद उसके बारे में लिखा तो अब देखिए कि उसने क्या लिखा है तो चूंकि ये लेसन हम लाइन बाय लाइन नहीं पढ़ सकते तो मैं आपको थोड़ा सा उसकी वो समरी दूंगा the writer had a friend named uh, Aga Shahid. Both the writer and his friend were then living in America. The writer knew that Shahid had brain cancer and had been under treatment for about 14 months. Shahid knew that he was not going to live long, but the first time he talked to the writer of his approaching death was on 25th April 2001. The writer had rung, up, rung him up talk to the writer uh, uh, to remind him that they had been invited to lunch at a friend's house. While responding to the writer's call, Shahid said that he could see nothing. He knew that his end was very near. He said to the writer, when it happens, I hope you'll write something for me. The writer tried to reassure Shahid and said, Shahid, you'll be fine. You have to be strong but Shahid knew his fate and said you must write about me the writer could think of nothing to say to a friend on such a topic but finally he said Shahid I'll do the best I can from that day the writer started keeping a record of all the conversations and meetings he had with Shahid here he produced all that he could gather about his friend's life and his personality. Shahid was a poet and a collection of his poems had been published in 1997. The country without a post office. The writer had read some of these poems and was greatly impressed. Till then, he knew only this much about Shahid that he was from Srinagar and had studied at Delhi University. The writer too had studied at Delhi University and their time at university had briefly overlapped, but the two had never met. Shahid came to America in 1975. His elder brother was already there and they were later joined by their two sisters. Shahid's parents continued to live in Srinagar. It was his custom to spend the summer months with his parents in Srinagar every year. Though the writer had never met Shahid till 1998, they had some friends in common. One of them put the writer in touch with Shahid between 1998 and 1999. They had several conversations on the phone and even met a couple of times, but as yet they didn't know much about each other. They were just acquaintances. Between 1999 and 2000, Shahid worked as a teacher in different colleges in America. On 7 May 2000, the writer went to meet Shahid in a college where he was then employed. There he saw that Shahid was very popular with his students. In February 2000, when he was doing a brief job at New York University, 
he had his first blackout after tests it was found that he had brain cancer now shahid decided to move to brooklyn so that he could be close to his younger sister samita who was a teacher there the writer lived a few blocks away from the, that place now they became very thick with each other and met quite often though shahid's condition was fast deteriorating he was always jovial full of life and wit on the afternoon sank sukita mehta who was also a writer and lived in brooklyn joined them for lunch together they met a plan for an ada a place where they could just meet as friends talked talked together and be happy now they began to meet regularly and from time to time other writers also joined them on one occasion a crew arrived with the television camera and filmed their con con conviviality shahid was a lovely person notwithstanding the fatal disease he was suffering from he enjoyed every moment of life often there were parties at his house he said that these parties did not leave him uh, any time to be depressed his apartment was on the seventh floor of a building it gave him a good view of the sea across the river to him it looked like a cart under the glittering lights of the sea shahid was a great lover of a uh, good food very often people gathered in his apartment and in the kitchen someone would always be cooking or making tea shahid always kept track of the progress of the meal that was being cooked from time to time uh, he would leave his friends and go to the kitchen to give directions to the cook even when his eyesight was failing he could tell from the smell alone which stage the rogan josh had reached shahid took personal interest in the preparation of food for a dinner party he placed great emphasis on the exact method of cooking he would not tolerate any uh, deviation from the traditional methods and recipes he had a special passion for kashmiri food in the pandit style he loved bengali food also on me Five two thousand one. The writer had a telephone conversation with Shahid. The doctor had given up all the hope. They gave him a year or less. The last time the writer saw Shahid was on twenty seventh October two thousand one. Shahid was then at his brother's house. He was aware of his approaching end, and he had made his peace with it. There was there was no trace of any anguish on his face. Shahid had said once to the writer, "I love to think that I'll meet my mother in the afterlife." if there is an afterlife shahid died peacefully in his sleep at 2 am on 8 december 2001 the writer felt a great void after shahid's death he was amazed that so brief a relationship had resulted in so vast a void the writer says that often when he walks into his living room he remembers shahid's presence there तो थोड़ा सा मैंने आपको दिया ये और कल इंशाल्लाह मैं आपको उर्दू में इसका ये दूंगा तो ये आज मैंने थोड़ी सी मॉडल रीडिंग भी की इंटेंशन मेरा ये भी था और थोड़ी सी ब्रीफ समरी भी हो गई तो इंशाल्लाह टुमारो आई विल बी गिविंग यू द डिटेल समरी ऑफ दिस लेसन थैंक यू फॉर टुडे